What's up, YouTubers? Sergeant Arbuckle here, bringing you uh, 26 blocks about Battlefield Hardline. Um, number one, they have a smoother gameplay. Two, gotta buy each gun for each class separately, unless you can like unlock the gun's perk where you can change it to uh, both cops and robbers. Uh, the load screens are faster, matchmaking is faster, all guns are available at the start, the only way to obtain them is to get the money for them by getting kills, objectives, and whatnot. The It is destructible environment, uh, there's very high dynamic weather, such as like sandstorms and stuff. Buying a gun for a certain class will not unlock it for another character. So as soon as you buy one gun, it's locked to that class, unless you get the perk. Uh, helicopters react slower. So, let's just say you're flying, you get hit, and your helicopter goes sideways. It doesn't... Yeah, it's harder to get out of that. Um... Well, while flying the helicopters, they aren't affected by weather, so if a wind, big gust of wind comes, it won't knock over the helicopter. They have regular conquest mode, that everybody knows. Um, in, they have the heist mode. In heist mode, one team tries to take over the bank while the other team tries to stop them. Uh, you can grapple onto buildings. When you get killed, it shows a body indicator of where you got shot. Maps aren't as destructible as Battlefield 4. You can zipline in between buildings long distances. You can get kills with the zipline when you use it. When you, you, you can use tasers to kill people, or you can just use them to stun them. Um, when somebody's on the zipline, you can cut the zipline to make them fall off. You can tag members, and you can also tag almost anything on the map with your very own emblems. When you knife somebody, you can cut... Oh wait, sorry. Oh yeah, when you gain... When you knife somebody, you can uh, cut them off and gain access to all the locations, you can cuff them, sorry, and gain access to locations of enemies on the map. So yeah, when you knife somebody and cuff them, you will see everybody on the map for a short time. A new feature is whenever you die, you can self-revive yourself with the, the self-reviving tool. If everyone is being dicks and not giving you any health or ammo or anything like that, you can now take it right off the person without even having to request it. Uh, you can also get health and weapons that are laying around the wall and stuff like that. So you'll, you'll find a health pack that's just randomly on the wall. Um, the game Hotwire, you drive cars and drive around... Uh, as, it, sorry. In the game Hotwire, you can, you grab cars and you drive around in them, and the opposite team is trying to stop you, but they're also driving cars. So one team is just trying to hold off the cars by driving them around. Um, heist mode. You just brought banks, and that is about it. So. Those are just the facts that I have randomly gotten from playing the game. Um, if there are any more, please comment and subscribe, and you know I'll do another video on a more up to date up to date uh, version. Um, but that will conclude my short video. I hope you guys like the facts video. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to please subscribe and hit that like button. It really does work for me. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys with more Battlefield Hardline videos to come.
I promise I will definitely do a lot more Battlefield Hardline videos. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.